The Snopper Wolf Jacks film situation has hopefully came to a conclusion with YouTube and Snopper Wolf both finally actually addressing the situation and YouTube did actually punish Snopper Wolf, although it was just like a little slap on the wrist. It wasn't anything too serious. But it all started whenever YouTube actually responded to Jacks Films post about her doxing him on her Instagram. They replied earlier today and said, confirming Snopper Wolf has received a temporary monetization suspension per creator responsibility policies. Off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk harm our community. So at least they're actually punishing her, but their punishment is kind of stupid. A temporary monetization suspension? That's the same thing as a parent telling their kid to go put their nose in the corner for 15 minutes because they did something bad. Like, it's going to suck for that person for 15 minutes, but once that time's up, they're just going to go right back to what they were doing before, like nothing ever happened. It's a temporary solution that doesn't do anything to address the previous issues. It's like putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. It looks like it does something, but it didn't do shit because there's a way bigger problem underneath. And that, But they continue by saying, and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want at YouTube. Hoping everyone helps move this convo to a so better YouTube place. YouTube thinks the behavior on both sides isn't what they want on YouTube. They don't want criticism, fair criticism on YouTube. So in YouTube's words, let me take some notes here. Doxing someone is bad. It'll get you temporarily suspended, a little slap on the wrist, but equally as bad, is criticizing someone. I just think it's insane that they address the situation by saying, yes, Snopper Wolf did something bad, but Jax Films did something bad too, okay? We're still backing Snopper Wolf. We're not gonna revert on that. We're still on her side, but we're trying to save public image. And also, Snopper Wolf did apologize herself, but it reads exactly like a chat GPT apology. She said, let me start by saying, I'm sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. She's right. She's not wrong. I'm sorry to Jax Film." She forgot the S. YouTube, the entire creator community, and my incredible fans for not being a better example for appropriate conflict resolution. <laughs> Dude. I'm surprised she didn't MLA format this with how formal it is. She, there's no way she didn't chat GPT this, man. It's so, I made it as a joke. But it, the more I read it, the more it sounds like an AI wrote this. Jax Films, while we certainly don't see eye to eye and have our differences, it's 100% AI. I'm sorry for reacting the way I did when I should have taken the taken the opportunity to show how to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by communicating directly, respectfully, and privately. Not for views or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be solved. I will reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect and communicate respectfully. I'd also like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. Well, they did hold you accountable in the same way a pet owner holds their cat accountable if they knock something off a table. Like, they'll yell at you and scold you, but it's not any meaningful punishment, you know? They, they temporarily took your monetization away. Oh, boo-hoo. She's gonna cry about that one, I'm sure. I deserve it. Respect the decision and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true lapse in judgment. She pulled a Logan Paul at the end there. I've made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment. <laughs> gotta eat the ice cream after that, after that apology. And you gotta remember, she's only apologizing, apologizing after YouTube took action took action, <laughs> very, very big quotes around these words I'm saying, because it's not anything serious that's happening. She only apologized after YouTube actually did something to her, or I doubt she would have never apologized. And also she definitely put this in chat GPT. We all know it. So the final thing I have to say about this, obviously Snopper Wolf was in the wrong. She deserved to be banned or completely have her monetization taken away. This isn't what should have happened. She's the bad guy. She should see that. And if she's really sorry, if she's really going to apologize and she really means it and she didn't use chat GPT, she herself should leave the platform for the betterment of everybody. She should just pack it all up and leave. She should ban herself and just hop off the platform. But of course, that's not going to happen. YouTube made it very obvious that they're playing favorites. They're siding with Sniper Wolf in this situation, and they're only doing this temporary monetization, this little bad girl thing to appease everybody or make it seem like they did something because they really didn't want to do anything. They made a joke about it saying, if we made a response to her response, would that be too meta? If YouTube actually 
cared about their community and followed their own guidelines and watched YouTube, would that be too meta? And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.